seconds. The fifth fire up in Larimer County. There is zero containment on the Cameron Peak fire. Now investigators call it human caused, but want to know exactly how. So they're asking for the public's help. Jeff Todd live with more tonight. And Jeff, we know any information can help. Jim, this fire grew so quickly, it's unknown how or where it started. Investigators want to talk to anybody who is south of Cameron Peak. There's a lot of lakes, trailheads, and campgrounds in that area, so they want to talk to anybody who might have seen anything like a campfire or heard anything like gunshots or fireworks. Uh, we are up hiking the American Lakes Trail, basically headed up there to look at some moose. Found the moose, and then uh, we also got a little extra excitement with the fire. It started as just a wisp of black smoke. Corey Buck hoped it was just a truck engine, but soon knew he needed to call 911. I just called it in saying, you know, I'm pretty sure that's a fire. My concern with it was it was started with black smoke, and then it started to grow, and that's when I called it in. Within a few hours, the Cameron Peak fire had exploded. To get back home, he had to drive close to the flames. And after we were driving, we could watch it actually come over the mountain, which was quite intense. On Wednesday, the Forest Service asked for public pictures and information about the fire start. Corey sent them these pictures. We're told any information helps because they study not just the origin of the fire, but also the patterns and how it grew. The cause is unknown. But it's devastating, a part of the forest Corey spent so much time hiking the past few summers. It's unfortunate. It's devastating to that area. It's beautiful, and it just kind of sucks. Because of the coronavirus pandemic, the national forests are seeing huge numbers of visitation. So investigators are really hoping that somebody saw something over on CBSDenver.com. We can connect you with the Forest Service. They've got an email address so you can send in pictures. They also have a phone number where you can leave information and you can remain anonymous. Reporting live tonight, Jeff Todd covering Colorado first. Jeff, thank you.